Did you see it fly? Were you one of the first to know? So Performance Designs just released their new canopy, the Sabre 3. Here's everything you need to know about this new wing. What's up Skyvibers, it's Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become better and safer skydivers. So if you're new here, consider subscribing not to miss our weekly videos all about skydiving. I am super excited for this video because last week Performance Designs did release their new canopy, the Sabre 3. So over the last weeks, we've been teased here and there with their first to know campaign. I was really wondering what would come out of that. At first, it wasn't really clear. Then slowly, we started to see that they were actually talking about a new wing. But in fact, to be honest with you, I was thinking that they were about to release some type of specialized canopy for maybe high performance canopy piloting or wingsuiting, stuff that I'm not fully into so that I would need a specialized canopy. So I thought it wouldn't be something of interest for me. But it turned out that they actually released this canopy by targeting medium and experienced skydivers. Really interesting because I fall right into that category. And I know that a lot of the skydivers out there are in that bracket as well. So this canopy becomes very interesting for us. So since then, I did some research here and there and actually found some interesting characteristics that I wanted to share with you in this video so that you better understand what are the changes that are coming with this new Sabre 3. So first, of course, we all know performance designs. They have been in the canopy industry for over 40 years. And for the last 20 years, really, their Sabre canopies has been very popular among skydivers. Until now, their most popular and renowned canopy for medium to experience skydivers was the Sabre 2. And they actually simply listened to all the comments and suggestions of improvements on this wing to make sure not to miss out on their next generation of Sabre, which is now today we know it the Sabre 3. But they were pretty prompt to say that it's not an improvement of the Sabre 2. They actually started from the ground up with the Sabre 3. And you'll see that it has some design configuration pretty noticeable that brings more capabilities to the wing. In brief, the Sabre 3 brings to the table amazing openings, highly responsive flight and great landings. So that means that the opening and flight characteristics are actually better than the Sabre 2. Some testers said that it feels faster and that the flares are more powerful and capable. Exciting stuff, really. So who is this canopy for? So PD said that it really targets the intermediate to expert skydivers that are actually looking for great on heading openings, interesting responsive flight and powerful landing. It's interesting that this canopy is offered in smaller sizes like an 89, 97, 107, 120. Then it goes up to 135, 150, 170, 190, and then up to 210 and 230. The size you should get really depends, of course, on your experience and the wing loading that you're targeting to have. But PD said that as you increase the wing load, you'll feel the wing being more aggressive and fast. But if you light loaded, it will become a pretty conservative wing that would be appropriate for novice jumpers. But it demands respect even for novice skydivers. So it's a more capable wing, even more than the Sabre 2. So how is the Sabre 3 different than the Sabre 2? Actually, some did comment on the Sabre 2 that they had some concerns about the heading openings, the end cell closure on opening, and also the loss of altitude during the deployment. Well, actually, all those elements were improved with the Sabre 3, giving it excellent on heading and symmetrical openings without losing that much of altitude. The experienced pilot of Sabre 2s will notice that it feels the same, but it's a more refined and modern design that gives more power and responsiveness. 
Will the Sabre 3 replace the Sabre 2? In fact, yes, over time, more and more people will choose the Sabre 3 over the Sabre 2, just like in the past it happened with the Sabre 1 and the Sabre 2. But PD said they will still support the Sabre 2, especially talking about providing line sets and relining the canopies. So we are still covered as Sabre 2 owners for a couple of years. So now if we go a little bit deeper into the characteristics of the Sabre 3, we can talk about its opening. I did talk about it a little bit earlier as well, but basically it has a smooth snivel, which is that movement while opening that doesn't lose a lot of altitude. That is key here. I think that's a key characteristic for the Sabre 3 and that makes it an interesting wing. The next thing that you can notice is actually a design aspect of it. You will notice right here that it has tail ribs. So the question is, what are those tail ribs for? So those ribs, PD said that they were designed to bring a lot more performance in all the range of speeds of the canopy. So even though you are flying high speed or slow speed, you'll still have good responsiveness from your canopy due to those tail ribs. Next, what about the toggle input? So the Sabre 3 has a long control range that provides more progressive control on any inputs. And when flying slowly, meaning in deep brakes, you will feel the wing being stable and still manageable. And it's also important to say that the stalling point is pretty deep for the majority of skydivers. By the way, if you want to watch a video about how to stall your canopy and get more information about what is stalling your canopy, you can click right here. On top of that, the toggle inputs are pretty responsive and quick to react, which may make it a pretty fun canopy to fly. So now, what about the front risers input if you want that performance on landing? Well, briefly said by PD, a little goes a long way. So the recovery arc of the Sabre 3 is pretty similar to the Sabre 2. However, the pilots will be able to build more speed with less input. But it's also important to consider that the recovery arc is dependent on the wing loading. As an example, a high wing loading will make the recovery arc longer. Next, how does the Sabre 3 react to rear risers input? Well, this one, one of the characteristics that PD wanted to improve with the Sabre 3. They wanted to have more performance on the rears. So now the Sabre 3 has more power and a wider range than other nine cells canopies out there, including the Sabre 2. It provides a pretty interesting glide that will carry you wherever you want to go. So if you want to make it back from a long spot, this canopy will show even more performance. It will also give you dynamic power for high performance landings. So whatever you want to do with this wing, coming back from a long spot, landing straight or swooping, you'll never believe how far this wing will take you. What about harness inputs? So harness inputs are of course very interesting to do some maneuvers and adjustments while under a canopy. And for that matter, the Sabre 3 is now more responsive to the harness inputs than its predecessor, but still without being too sensitive to body position during the deployment, which is good. Is there anything different to consider when packing a Sabre 3? Well, a pro packing method will work perfectly on the Sabre 3 just like usual and they even added colored tabs. So they have white and silver tabs to alternate when flaking the canopy. What about the pack volume if I want to put it in my rig? So they found that the Sabre 3 will pack with a similar size to a Sabre 2, Stiletto or Katana. So I don't know if you heard about it, but PD has a great demo program. So if you want to try it out before purchasing it, that's possible. And right now they are demoing it in The Land and Emporia Brava. So you can reach out to test it out, but I also know that at some point they may be able to send some canopies to demo near you. Right now you can actually buy your own Sabre 3 and you can purchase it from all the authorized dealers of PD and Skydive Vibes can even sell you your Sabre 3 
so reach out if you're interested. But in conclusion, the Sabre 3 is more powerful and capable. It has unheading openings without losing much altitude and it gives you a long recovery arc which can be interesting if you want to start high performance canopy landings. So for me, on a personal note, I'm pretty interested to test this canopy out. I'm curious about the change that I'll feel from a canopy from my Sabre 2 to the Sabre 3, see if there's any noticeable difference for me. So uh, stay tuned, we'll see if I get the chance to try it out. I'm gonna do a full-blown review on this channel here. So if you don't wanna miss that out, make sure to subscribe. And if you did like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it around to your friends so that everyone start to know more about this new wing of performance designs. Now I have a question for you. If you're a Sabre 2 owner or another wing owner, are you interested by the Sabre 3? Would you change your actual canopy for a Sabre 3? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to watch other videos about canopy gear, canopy performance characteristics, or canopy piloting exercises, you can watch those videos meanwhile, but I'm working on some more content about that. So on that, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Blue sky! Thank you